Hi, welcome back to another episode of this ongoing series that we have, where we get together and we pray the rosary together, a decade of it, and we listen to a meditation from The Secret of the Rosary by St. Louis de Montfort. So today what we're going to be doing is we'll be covering the sixth rose, the sixth section of this book, The Secret of the Rosary. We'll read it, meditate on it a little bit, and then we'll pray one of the um, joyful mysteries. So please feel free to grab some beads, and uh, we'll get started with this meditation here from the book. All right. Ever since St. Dominic established the devotion to the Holy Rosary, up until the time when Blessed Alan de la Roche re-established it in 1460, it has always been called the Psalter of Jesus and Mary. This is because it has the same number of angelic salutations as there are psalms in the book of the Psalms of David. Since simple and uneducated people are not able to say the Psalms of David, the rosary is held to be just as fruitful for them as David's Psalter is for others. But the rosary can be considered to be even more valuable than the latter for three reasons. Firstly, because the angelic Psalter bears a nobler fruit, that of the Word incarnate, whereas David's Psalter only prophesies his coming. Secondly, just as the real thing is more important than its prefiguration, as, and as the body is more than its shadow, in the same way with the Psalter of Our Lady is greater than David's Psalter, which did no more than prefigure it. And thirdly, because Our Lady's Psalter, or the Rosary made up of the Our Father and the Hail Mary, is the direct work of the Most Blessed Trinity, and was not made through a human instrument. Our Lady's Psalter, or Rosary, is divided up into three parts of five decades each, for the following special reasons. 1. To honor the three persons of the Most Blessed Trinity. 2. To honor the life, death, and glory of Jesus Christ. and 3. To imitate the Church triumphant, to help the members of the Church militant, and to lessen the pains of the Church suffering. 4. To imitate the three groups into which the Psalms are divided, the first being for the purgative life, the second being for the illuminative life, and the third being for the unitive life. And five, finally, to give us graces in abundance during our lifetime, peace at death, and glory in eternity. All right. Now together, let's pray the second joyful mystery. We'll be praying uh, the visitation. So this is when Mary goes to her cousin Elizabeth. Uh, Mary, who is now with child, having just accepted um, the angel Gabriel and his, uh, his annunciation to her, now goes in haste to the hill country to help Elizabeth, her cousin, who is now six months pregnant with John the Baptist eventually, who would be John the Baptist. And um, she now goes to assist her cousin, who is now pregnant. And she brings with her the Christ child, who is now in her womb. So the fruit of this mystery is the love of neighbor. And how much more love of neighbor can we have than bringing Christ to them? And really, that's what we are to imitate with this mystery of the rosary, to be bearers of Christ, to bring him to other people, to show them Jesus, to bring him to them in our thoughts, in our deeds, in our words, in our actions, in every glance, in every dealing that we have with other people, in every comment, in every smile, in every act of service. So keeping that in mind, let's pray for the grace to truly bring Jesus to people, no matter where we go, no matter where, what we're going, what we're doing, who we're with, to really bear Christ and to be bearers of him, displaying him and showing him to other people, introducing other people to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. And now we'll conclude with that prayer for peace, asking for Our Lady's intercession and her prayers, uh, for peace in our minds, peace in our hearts, peace in our world. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Appreciate you joining me here again tonight for this. Uh, please continue to pray for me. Know that I pray for you. Um, and please feel free in the comments to post anything that you might have prayer intentions for, or anything that we might be able to kind of form a community of prayer to be able to hold up each other uh, during what uh, is undoubtedly <laughs> strange times. Um, so please know that there is that community praying for you. And uh, that we might all to kind of bolster each other in virtue during these strange and uncertain times. Until next time, stay in the state of grace, and God bless, friends.